Hello again, everybody. Hope you're all doing good. So we are finished. Uh, the scooter I was working on in the previous video of this workshop diaries playlist, this one over here, is now done. Uh, apologies for the lighting. The lights in here are pretty good, but where I've got it over there is not the greatest. Um, but as you can see, she's all back together. She's now running perfectly. She's had a full service. We've replaced, for those who didn't see the previous video, uh, we've actually replaced the camshaft, which uh, you can see this front lobe is kind of okay, but uh, quite, you can't see very well from this angle, but it's quite worn at the top. Uh, but this back one was completely worn down to basically nothing. I have no idea how the scooter was even running with this thing installed, but there you go. Uh, we've also ended up replacing the whole head actually because the valves were bent and uh, there was some damage to the cylinder head. You can't see it um, in this lighting, but yeah, this is basically boogered. So we've replaced the head, it wasn't particularly expensive. So we've done that and we've got some nice new rollers as part of the full service obviously we replaced the variator rollers which were starting to get some pretty decent flat spots on them so we've taken this scooter from basically absolutely knackered i have no idea it, it did run when it came in it did start and run but really badly i didn't try and ride it so i have no idea how fast it was going before we fixed it but now she is working perfectly so at this stage i am just having a tidy up in my garage because as much as i try like i try to keep everything organized so i know where it is and all that lot but for some reason when i'm in the middle of working on stuff so usually when i get stuff in the garage it's in here for at least a couple of days or maybe a couple of weeks because i'll start working on it and then i'll get have to order parts or whatever and i have to wait for those parts to arrive and just for whatever reason i'm really bad at keeping on top of like the workshop cleanliness side of things so i end up with tools everywhere and then when i go back to working on the bike when the parts arrive i always find myself running around going oh where's the 10 mil where's the pliers and all this stuff uh just because as much as i try i never seem to put things back so at the very least when i do finish a job i do try and reorganize myself but yeah i'm pretty terrible for that um but i wanted to share a little little story with this one because uh it's a, a very good example of um how something can seem impossible until you rest on it so when i first put that scooter back together uh, i put the new head on i put the new camshaft on i set the timing correctly i set the valve clearances i um, did everything else and then uh, full service changed the oil all that lot and then i went to start it and it started up and ran okay i thought great took it for a test ride and up to about 50 kilometers an hour or 30 miles an hour it was running pretty smooth i would say but then as soon as you tried to go over that it was backfiring and spitting and refusing to go any faster and it was just not right at all i thought what the hell's going on here and so i took the carburetor off again i checked the jets i cleaned them and whatever else checked the fuel system took it for another ride same problem so i was thinking to myself well we've done all the work we've replaced all the parts that we could see were broken there's no reason why this scooter shouldn't be running perfectly and so i just thought well it must just have some other major problem in the lower end or something so i'm gonna have to take the whole thing apart look at it again test it all that stuff but then I left it overnight. I didn't have time to carry on that day because I had a dentist appointment and um, it was getting late anyway. So I left it, uh, came back the next day. Now the next day I'd had a really good sleep. I was really rested. And I just had another look at the valve clearances because it to me, it just seemed like there can't be anything like broken. It must be something out of spec. And sure enough, the valves were out of spec. The inlet valve was way too loose and the exhaust valve was a little bit too tight. And so what happened is because the previous day when I was working on it, I was quite tired. I'd had quite a long day already, but before I even started working on the scooter, I'd already done a day of various other things. 
And so my brain wasn't at its freshest. And of course, what I'd done, silly me, is when I'd set the valve clearances, I hadn't done it at the top dead centre mark. I'd done it at one of uh, this particular scooter has a number of marks on the flywheel. Now, some scooters literally just have the top dead centre mark, but some of them have other marks for other things. And uh, this is one of those. So I'd actually set it on the wrong mark. So when I checked it and I set it onto the top dead centre mark on the flywheel and then checked the valve clearances, obviously they were out of spec. So I adjusted them again to make them in spec at the correct point, And sure enough, it works perfect. So it's a little bit of a kind of lesson there. Like it doesn't matter how many, how much experience you have, how many times you've done things and stuff like that. If you work on something when you're tired, sometimes you are going to make mistakes. And that was just, it, it was so infuriating as well, because it's such a silly mistake to make. And, uh, you know, I took it on like two test rides and I was wondering why the thing wasn't running right. And yeah, silly me, it was just that. But there you go. That's just how it is sometimes. But really happy that it's back together working. So all I've got to do now is just have one quick last look over it, make sure I've not forgotten to put any bolts in the bodywork or anything. I've already triple checked the actual engine and carburetor and air filter and everything else. Uh, and I've checked the operation of all the electrical systems. So it's it's really just making sure that there's no bolts missing from the panels. And then tomorrow, we will let the guy know that his scooter is ready to roll and roll it certainly does. And then hopefully he can come pick that up as soon as possible and make some room in my garage for the next thing. So there you go, guys. Uh, that will be it for this little video. Uh, as always, if you did enjoy this short little video, please do give it a like. If you haven't already, go check out my other videos. Um, there's going to be as I say, a whole playlist of uh, workshop diaries like this. Uh, but there's also other videos, you know, reviews and how-to videos, stuff like that. So if you're interested in knowing how to do the various jobs that I do around the scooters and bikes, then uh, there's other playlists for that on the channel. Go check those out. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you again soon.